What do we mean when we say outside the church there is no salvation? We mean that those who through their own grave fault do not know that the Catholic Church is the true church, or knowing it, refuse to join it, cannot be saved. All are obliged to the Catholic Church in order for them to be saved. Christ said, Amen, Amen, I say to thee, unless a man be born again of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The Catholic Church is made on the Apostles to whom our Lord gave the commission to baptize the people. By baptism, one is made a member of the church. If then baptism is indispensable, the church must be indispensable. Christ did not die just for a part of, but for all mankind. He did not leave his legacy, which is the church, not for the benefit of few, but for all men. Our Lord said, He who hears you, hears me, and he who rejects you, rejects me. Since God commanded all to be the members of his church, those who deliberately disobey his command will not be saved. Whoever through his own fault remains outside of the Catholic Church will be lost eternally. The one who knows that Catholic Church is a true one does not join it because he wants to make a good marriage, good business, will not be saved. He is a willful and malicious unbeliever. It's not enough to just belong to the church. We also have to live up to our beliefs. Otherwise, our membership will only lead us to a greater condemnation. The church is a guarantee of salvation to those only who obey it. Unfortunately, there are bad Catholics. We must, therefore, study our religion and then practice it. God has given us the grace to be members of the true church. We must not waste that grace. Catholics who have committed grave sins, such as arson, adultery, and murder, are still members of the church, as long as they still follow the Catholic faith of the church. Catholics in grave sin are called dead members, for they are so dead in mortal sin. Nevertheless, they remain members and have the privilege of receiving the sacraments to wash away their sins. Christ himself predicted that in the church there would be bad people. Mother Church is a good mother that patiently awaits the return of her sinful children and does not exclude them from her gifts. Excommunicate is the one that has been cut off from the membership of the church for some serious sin against the faith. In order for him to become a member of the church, a bishop has to give him an absolution in the church. Can they be saved who remain outside the Catholic Church just because they do not know it is the true church? The answer is, they who remain outside the Catholic Church through no grave fault of their own and do not know it is the true church can still be saved by making use of the graces which God gives them. God condemns no man except for grave sin. Therefore, He will not condemn those who through no fault of their own are unaware of His command to belong to the true church, provided they serve Him faithfully according to their conscience, have a sincere desire to do His will in all things, and therefore implicitly wish to become members of His church. They are members of the church in desire. How about a baptized protestant? that lives all his life as a protestant without a doubt that he was in the wrong. Well, he can still be saved if he makes a perfect contrition before his death for the sins that he has committed. It is possible for one that has never even heard of Jesus Christ, for God wishes all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And Christ died for all. In order that such a one may be saved, it is required that he observes the natural law. With the help of God, everyone having the use of reason can do that. The fact that it is possible for those outside the church to be saved should not make us lose the sight of the disadvantages that they are under compared to the Catholics. Such persons have not the infallible church to guide them in what they are to believe and do in order to serve God. They have to live without the sacraments, Holy Mass, and Holy Communion, 
and other countless sources of grace which the Church supplies for the sanctification of its children, those professed Catholics who are the members of the body of the visible Church. This disadvantages should make us Catholics realize more fully the many reasons we have for humbly thanking God for the priceless blessings we have received without any claim or merit of our own. They should also spur us on to give Him a more worthy service and help spread our faith. <laughs>